So when I'm looking for morels, I really scan my eyes all across the area. And I also look for fallen trees. So I see a fallen tree over here. And we're gonna walk very carefully, not to step on any wildflowers. The soil is nice. So here's a fallen tree. I'll scan my eyes across the area and see if I see anything pop out at me. And I don't right away. So then you can very gently take your walking stick and kind of sift through. All right, right here in our site, we have three morel mushrooms and they're really difficult to see uh, unless you know what you're looking for. So again, I just kind of scratch around and you can see one right there sticking out of the leaves. And this is a black one. And against the black dirt, they can be very, very difficult. Once you find one morel, it's a good idea to stop where you are because when you find one morel, there's usually lots more right, right nearby. Uh, when I pick them, I, I uh, just pinch it at the base. And then I do leave part of the stem attached into the ground. And when you pick them, again, you put them in an onion bag. So here's another one. I just kind of pinch it at the base. And then here's one more. Just like that. It's well known that you don't disclose your spot. So, you know, that's just a question I, I don't ask people because I know they're not gonna tell me. And a golden rule of morel mushroom hunting is to treat others like you would like to be treated. So, um, you know, keep that in mind.